Alright guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you. And folks, welcome to Photography Talk episode 59. Now, there's both good and bad news this week in the photography world, with Canon exceeding their sales projections and Costco announcing it's closing its photo centers. In other news, new pandemic measures in Japan will likely lead to reduced output from companies like Canon and Nikon. Now we're going to discuss these stories in just a minute, but first I want to give you guys a big thank you for supporting this channel. And I know every week, every video, I say the same thing to you guys, but guys, I really do appreciate you joining me for these weekly roundups. And hey, I hope that you continue to tune in. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If you aren't, well, now's a great time to click that button down below. Now remember, you have to be a subscriber to be eligible for our monthly giveaway, so you have a chance to win some really killer prizes if you're subscribed. Now on to this week's news. Costco is closing all its photo centers. Now, if you rely on Costco for your photo printing needs, you're gonna need to find a new place to go. Guys, that's because they'll be closing all their photo centers as of February 14th. Now, this comes on the heels of the company closing some of its in-store photo centers just last year. Now, the reason for the closure is a huge decline in demand for photo printing services. Their statements to customers include the following. Since the introduction of camera phones and social media, the need for printing photos has deeply declined, even though the number of pictures taken continues to grow. After careful consideration, we have determined the continued decline of prints no longer requires an on-site photo printing. Now you may recall, I got a Costco metal print just last year as part of our $100 metal print shootout, and it was in the middle of the pack. Certainly not the worst one I got, but it didn't match the quality of the top performers. Now with so many online printing services out there, it's hard to compete if you don't bring killer quality. Next, Canon exceeded sales projections in 2020. Now let's call a spade a spade. We all know 2020 wasn't the best year for a lot of camera companies, but one managed to exceed sales projection. Canon's net income for the year ended up being more than 250 million more than what they thought it would be, which is certainly good news for them. Now, one of the biggest reasons for the increase of income is the success of the R5 and the R6. Now, both of these cameras show very strong sales and numbers, particularly in China. And to be fair, Canon's 2020 profit still fell short of 2019's profit. However, earning more than you thought you would, hey, especially right now today where the economy is very good news. Next, Canon and Nikon will likely be impacted by the new coronavirus measures in Japan. With parts of Japan under a new state of emergency due to coronavirus, Canon and Nikon will likely have supply chain troubles for the time being. Now, earlier this month, you may recall Nikon issued a statement expressing its concerns for people affected by the virus. Now, while the company is still continuing manufacturing, it has reduced its workflow 30% or less to comply with the virus restriction. Now, Canon might be affected by this as well, saying that they will likely have to temper down their expectations for 2021 in terms of how many new cameras and lenses they're going to release this year. Similar coronavirus measures happened last year in Japan, you may recall. As a result, the Nikon Z6 Mark II and the Z7 Mark II have limited availability with some vendors not receiving their stock. Now with the new lockdown measure in place, we can likely expect months long delays yet again. Additionally, Canon had originally planned to release five new mirrorless cameras this year, and that might be out of the question if the current restrictions in Japan last very long. All right, friend, those were the biggest stories from last week. Now let's have a quick discussion about our current giveaway. Here are the prizes you might win. A ViewSonic 38 inch VP3881 curved monitor, a Peak Design 30L everyday backpack, a F-Stop Toyota 20 backpack. Now, as always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some of our other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you registered on the site and introduce yourself during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. So as I keep saying, swing on by and say hello, let us know what you're up to. Friend, that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk and how to say hello in the forum, check out the description below. Good luck. Well, there you go, guys. Photography Talk episode 59, done in the bag. Now, as always, I'm going to ask you to do all that YouTube stuff that helps the channel grow in. 
does give a little confirmation back over to us that we're putting the right information in front of you. So if you found some value, if you were mildly entertained with this video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, well, I hope we earned you hitting that subscribe or that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, I might as well hit that bell to be notified each time that we come out with a new video. All right, my friends, I'm going to be jumping out of here. You get out there, stay healthy, and create your best shot.